Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Cambasis. So in this video, I am going to talk about a telescope that is named as James Webb Telescope. So this telescope will look much closer to the beginning of the time. The James Webb Telescope is basically an orbiting infrared observatory that will complement and extend the discoveries of the Hubble Space Telescope with longer wavelength coverage and greatly improved sensitivity. The longer wavelengths enable Webb to look much closer to the beginning of the time and to hunt for the unobserved formation of the first galaxies as well as to look inside dust clouds where stars and planetary systems are forming today. So friends, without wasting any time, let's begin the video. Friends, as you can see, this is an artist concept of a galaxy with a brilliant quasar at its center. A quasar is a very bright, distant and active supermassive black hole that is millions to billions of times the mass of the Sun. Among the brightest object in the universe, a quasar's light outshines that of all the stars in its host galaxy combined. Quasars feed on infalling matters and unleash torrents of winds and radiation, shaping the galaxies in which they reside. Using the unique capabilities of Webb Telescope, scientists will study six of the most distant and luminous quasars in the universe. So basically, the Webb Telescope peers deep into the universe. It will actually look back in time. Light from these distant quasars began its journey to Webb when the universe was very young and took billions of years to arrive. We will see things as they were long time ago, not as they are today. All these quasars we are studying existed very early, when the universe was less than 800 million years old, or less than 6% of its current age. So these observations gives us the opportunity to study galaxy evolution and supermassive black hole formation and evolution at these very early times. The light from these very distant objects has been stretched by the expansion of the space. This is known as cosmological redshift. The further the light has to travel, the more it is redshifted. In fact, the visible light emitted at the early universe is stretched so dramatically that it is shifted out into the infrared when it arrives to us. Using infrared tuned instrument, Webb telescope is uniquely suited to study these kinds of light. The quasars the team will study are not only among the most distant in the universe, but also among the brightest. These quasars typically have the highest black hole masses, and they also have the highest accretion rate, which is basically the rates at which materials falls into the black holes. An enormous amount of energy is liberated when matter is accreted by the supermassive black hole. This energy heats and pushes the surrounding gas outward, generating strong outflows that tear across interstellar space like a tsunami, wreaking havoc on the host galaxy. Outflows plays an important role in galaxy evolution. Gas fuels the formation of stars. So when gas is removed due to the outflows, the star formation rate decreases. In some cases, outflows are so powerful and expel such large amount of gas that they cannot completely halt star formation within the host galaxy. Scientists also think that outflows are the main mechanism by which gas, dust and elements are redistributed over large distances within the galaxy or can even be expelled into the space between galaxies that is called the intergalactic medium. This may provoke fundamental changes in the properties of both the host galaxy and the intergalactic medium. More than 13 billion years ago, when the universe was very young, the view was far from clear. Neutral gas between galaxies made the universe opaque to some type of light. Over hundreds of millions of years, the neutral gas in the intergalactic medium become charged or ionized, making it transparent to the ultraviolet light. This period is called the era of reionization. 
but what leads to the reionization that created the clear conditions detected in much of the universe today? Webb Telescope will peer deep into the space to gather more information about this major transition in the history of the universe. The observations will help us to understand the era of reionization, which is one of the key frontiers in astrophysics. The team will use quasars as the background light sources to study the gas between us and the quasar. The gas absorbs the quasar's light at some specific wavelengths. Through a technique called imaging spectroscopy, they will look for absorption lines in the intervening gas. The brighter the quasar is, the stronger those absorption line features will be in the spectrum. By determining whether the gas is neutral or ionized, scientists will learn how neutral the universe is and how much of this reionization process has occurred at that particular point in time. So if you want to study the universe, you need very bright background sources. A quasar is the perfect object in the distant universe. Webb telescope is an extremely sensitive telescope that is able to detect very low levels of light. This is important because even though the quasars are intrinsically very bright, the ones this team is going to observe are among the most distant objects in the universe. In fact, they are so distant that the signals Webb will receive are very very low. However, the Webb telescope is so much sensitive that it can catch those weak signals also. The James Webb Space Telescope will be the world's premier space science observatory when it launches in 2021. Webb will solve mysteries in our solar system, look beyond to distant worlds around the other stars, and probe the mysterious structures and origins of our universe and our place in it. Webb is an international program led by NASA with its partner ESA that is European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. Several innovative technologies have been developed for Webb. This includes a primary mirror that is made of 18 separate segments that unfold and adjust to shape after launch. The mirrors are made of ultra lightweight beryllium. Webb's biggest feature is a tennis court sized 5 layer sun shield that attenuates heat from the sun more than a million times. The telescope has detectors that are able to record extremely faint signals. One instrument has programmable micro shutters which enable observation up to 100 objects simultaneously. Webb also has a cryo cooler for cooling the mid infrared detectors of another instrument to a very cold 7 Kelvin so they can work. So friends, please let me know that how do you like this video. And if you really like this video, please show your love with subscribing my YouTube channel Kembasis. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end and I will see you very soon. So take care, bye bye.